guys, J Pops in the house today. We are unboxing the Target Limited Edition Iron Man Pop and Tea. Alright guys, so we have here the new Avengers Endgame Target Limited Edition Pop and Tea Bundle. Now you guys know um, they do the Pop and Tea Bundles with like a limited pop. Most of them are limited, I believe so. Um, but similar to like the Black Panther one. Very cool. If you guys follow me on Instagram at jpops23, you will know that we found this on a random Target hunt. Was not even pop hunting. This was just chilling on the shelf. So that is just crazy that we came across this. It's been about a week, a little over a week since this came out um, and they've sold out. So really cool that we were able to just find one randomly chilling there. Let me take this off so that way we can take a look at the box better. Uh, ooh, the box is like holographic. You can tell that like on the side, but here's the top. There you go, the top, the front. And you got Tony Stark there, unmasked Iron Man, and you got the t-shirt. That's what the t-shirt looks like, so they let you know what the t-shirt looks like. It's the size, extra large. Definitely didn't realize that until like afterward. Um, side of the box, we have the Avengers. The logo right there is kind of holographic, um, which is really cool. The pop, the t-shirt. Um, on the back now this pop glows in the dark so this is really cool that we're gonna find out what this uh what the glow looks like so let's open this uh ooh, the t now the t-shirt is an extra large which is funny um because yeah that's not gonna work well it'll probably fit rick a little bit it might still be a little big but ooh, wow this is the t-shirt let's see what this t-shirt looks like regular pop too Boom. Ooh, the colors are nice. Check that out. What? Those are nice colors. They pop. The the iron right there, it looks like it says Tron. But it's Iron Man, obviously. But that is really cool. I like that a lot. With the little Avengers logo. That's pretty cool. He's in like a little action pose stance. The pop doesn't look like that. I wish the pop kind of looked like that. But um, it doesn't. But really cool t-shirt nonetheless. I like this a lot. Really cool. We need a small or a large. So let's put this right here. There you go. All right, now the pop that comes in the box, in the box, does that make sense? Is, ooh, glows in the dark, only at Target, Target exclusive. There it is, Tony Stark. Now it's funny how Tony, this pop, he doesn't have like the, the pose that he does on the t-shirt. I think that would've been really cool if they did, like giving him a little bit of an action stance. Artwork on the side. It's pretty cool. The event, the, the end game uh, box art reminds me a little bit of Civil War, but um, really cool nonetheless. And the back of the box, the wave, as always, Marvel comes out with a gazillion pops. They all, all the comments have like the <laughs> suits. That's definitely a spoiler, so I'll probably have to edit that. They have the blue and gray and red suits, so that's that's really cool. I like that, very different. Um, and then there's like the exclusive cap, exclusive Hulk bus, Hulk. Um, and Tony Stark. So let's open this guy up. Let's see what he looks like. Ooh, what kind of card? The, the cards on the back of the boxes always come with something like Marvel Pops. <gasps> That's dope. Yo, the blue A. The Infinity War one was gold. So this one is blue. It's pretty dope colors right there. You guys can see the A. But the Infinity War one was um was gold. So pretty cool. All right, let's get this pop up. Ooh, he's like translucent. I think the glow in the dark pops are a bit translucent. There he goes. It's with the paint. So he's a bobblehead. This is pretty much the same uh, sculpt, like the mold, as like Infinity War, Unmasked Iron Man from FYE. I think maybe the hair is a bit different, the hair sculpt there. I feel like it's the same. But anyway, if you guys have the Unmasked Infinity War one, you guys could probably tell. But. Pretty cool nonetheless. And then he's just like with his hands out to the side. Pretty cool. You guys can see right there the blue. The blue is um a bit translucent, but they do that with the glow in the dark pops a lot. Probably because, you know, it has to glow, so they have to do it a bit differently. And then you got the back of the pop. Pretty cool. Is that the A sign on the back? No. The A, the Avengers sign is on the front. You guys can see right there. Yeah, pretty cool. And then he's got the little, I don't know, what is that? Like a communicator on his left hand? The paint's a little, like, if you feel it, it's very rough. It feels almost like a matte finish. But we're going to test this glow in the dark. This glow is crazy, guys. Really cool. It is really bright. 
everything that's blue here glows even the bottom of the feet glow which i think is really cool the back of the pop everything everything pretty much blue gl glows rick pointed out too that the blue is very similar to like the tesseract color which i'm not too sure if that's like purposely or what but we will find out this blue is really cool the glow in the dark is really really awesome i'm gonna get some more 360s of this guy glowing in the dark so anyway guys that is gonna do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed if you guys like today's video drop a comment and leave a like i'm signing off thanks for tuning in as always don't forget to like 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 share subscribe